Plowmen must walk the long furrow, keeping up with the old painful plow. Many miles he'll complete on cold, weary feet, through an acre as wet as his brow. Through autumn and winter he trudges, preparing the ground for the grain. He endures the first part with a brave, patient heart, through the snow and the cold winter's rain. Arise, arise, shoulder to shoulder we stand. Be proud of your plough and the sweat of your brow. Arise, you sons of the land. It's the start of a new year, and OR Media presents an introduction to the charming of the Playbot, with footage from Anders from Eden's Somerset Orchard Hearth. The first celebration of the new year. Though today many people may not even know what a plough looks like, life depends on it. Land is largely unproductive for food until it has been ploughed, made ready. It is fitting that at the start of the new year we understand that for the year to be fruitful we must make preparation. To be productive life contains an element of compulsion where rebellion and protest have no place. Human life needs discipline if the harvest of our body and spirit is to be a good one. As we are interdependent with nature, so a civilised society is also dependent upon a variety of trades and labour to function. At the Blot, we hail the men and women whose skills enable us to maintain our existence. We are also reminded of the continuity of life, a new year born. At this ritual we return the Corn Mother, placed on the altar at winter finding. In the past it would have been ploughed back into the earth. Today it is presented to a young person during the blot, usually, a reminder that the future of our folk depends upon our young people and their discipline and fruitfulness. It is not the starting but the continuing that is really important and gives success. This time Anders has returned to tradition and ploughed the corn token back into the earth. May the high gods be with us. We there people hail him. Hail Thor, patron of workers, whose strength and determination inspire us. Hail Thrall, guardian of they, who labour. Hail Njord, protector of our commerce. Hail, O Father Woden, conferrer of wealth. May your wisdom be with us, and hail fair Sif, beloved wife of Thor. May your gifts be ever be with us, how to our holy mother Yorf. May it yield us a good crop, and in its trees be laden with good fruit. May the young of our folk be strong. May the rivers and seas give abundance. Their stuff of the earth, wood and clay, metal and stone. Give strength to they who work with our, with the land. Now let us be aware of the God force within us and around us. In the name of the high gods, I charm the plough in the names of the Azir and of Anir and the Desir. Accept our offerings, my offerings of bread and mead. May you plough through, may you plough straight. May the furrows be good. And to you, Holy Mother Yorth, we pay homage to you. May you give us a good harvest in the forthcoming year to come. And with this, like our ancestors long before us, I leave my offerings to you. Nerfus, Holy Mother Yorf. And my token, wheat, 
from last year's harvest. And like our ancestors before us, shall we cast to the first furrow. Nutrition for you, mighty Yorf, Nerfus. Please accept my offering, and may you bounty be abund- of abundance as we pay ga- gratitude and homage to you. Hell Nerfus. In the names of the Azir and of Anir, and to Holy Mother Nerfus, to the Desir, a time of disting, a time when we prepare the land for the year to come. May it be at one with our Holy Mother Yorth. May we be at one with our gods and goddesses. I now cast to the first furrow. My gifts, nutrition. Gracious Mother Yorth, accept my offerings. We thank you for your precious gifts of life. Hail you, gracious Mother. done there is hoeing and hay making comes by and by the labourer spends long hot days without tent with the sun burning down from the sky when the hay has been cut reaped and carted and the ricks stand secure in the sun there's no time to sit down for the harvest comes round and his labour has barely begun arise Shoulder to shoulder we stand Be proud of the plough and the sweat of your brow Arise, you sons of the land